day. Thank you for tuning in. We're going to go ahead and tune in to ourselves right now. You're welcome to join me in the shapes that I'm making with my body or you can make whatever modifications you need to so that you're moving in a way that feels good. So right now my palms are pressed together and my elbows are pressed against my knees. I'm in a low squat position. Just gonna inhale here. Checking in with my body and breath in the present moment. As I inhale, I can feel my elbows press against my knees, palm to palm. And as I exhale, I can feel my knees press against my elbows. Sometimes you just need to get a good scratch in. I'm learning a lot from, from this cat who makes guest appearances. I'm going to go ahead and settle in, just noticing whatever I notice. And I'm going to gently rock back and forth, feeling my weight shift from my heels to my toes and heels to toes again, giving a little micro massage to the soles of my feet. I'm going to lift all 10 toes and then root them down into the earth. And I'm gonna um, press my palms into the earth, walk my feet in together so that toes and heels are touching, and just ragdoll fall forward, letting everything go, shaking my head yes, shake it no, and then keeping a bend in my knees, I'm gonna slowly roll all the way up Shoulder roll down the back, head rolls up last. Reaching my hands actively down in a mountain pose, gaze forward. Shoulders roll down the back, palms shine forward. Fingers reach towards the earth, tuck my tailbone in. Navel reaching towards spine, gentle bend in the knees as I feel my feet root into the earth. Ta-da! So now, so from here I'm just gonna hang loose and let my arms hit my sides as I gently turn from side to side, just giving a natural massage wherever my hands land. From here, I'm going to inhale, both arms up, and exhale. Bow over my legs, hands reach towards the earth, crown of head reach towards the earth. Inhale up to a flat back, palms can rest on shins, maybe thighs. And then I'm going to plant both hands down and step my right foot back and my left foot back. And come into a plank pose, I'm going to rock side to side here. Checking in with this response that's so effective, the stress response <laughs> that gives us energy in front of any challenge our life may bring to us. And then seeing if I can check into the more subtle response, the, the parasympathetic nervous system or relaxation response, knowing that I also have that ability within me and, and we all do. And I'm going to pour my weight into my left side, letting my right foot rest on the mat and edge of left heel rest on the mat. So I'm balanced on my left palm, left heel, and right foot. I'm going to inhale my right hand up. I can remain gaze forward, head neutral. And inhale, lift my hips up so that my right hip is pressing towards the ceiling and then elongate right arm over right ear one long line of energy shooting through my right fingertips pressing up 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 and exhale returning to center coming into a plank pose lowering down just a little bit 
strong moment, pressing back up and then pouring my weight into my right side. But I'm on right palm, side of right foot, and left whole sole I'm going to bring to the mat. As I inhale, left arm. I can shine my heart forward, gaze forward, or up at left hand, whatever's more, most comfortable for my neck. And as I inhale, I'm going to press my left hip towards the ceiling as I braid left arm over my ear so that my left palm is shining towards the earth. Making sure to respect the space between shoulder and neck and ear and upper left arm. Inhale as I press the earth away from me, pressing left hip towards the sky. Energy shooting out from left toes to left fingertips. And then return to center here. Inhale and exhale, lower all the way down slowly and press my um, tops of my feet into the earth as I inhale gently up into baby cobra and then exhale, tuck my toes, reach my hips high, heels low into downward dog, gently bending one knee then the other. Feeling all 10 fingers press into the mat, especially the space between my middle finger and my thumb on both sides. I can shake my head yes, shake it no. Gently let my hips fall from side to side. And inhale my right foot up, right heel kicking out, right toes pressing towards the earth. And then uh, let my hip rise even higher as I bend my knee, bend my right ankle. Inhale here, maybe play around with making little circles with ankle and with knee. Pressing into the earth with both hands and left foot. Inhale to lift my right leg a little higher. On my exhale, I'm bringing my right leg through between my hands, planting left foot into the earth, about a 45 degree angle. And I'm gonna maybe create a little space between, between my legs so that I'm standing on railroad tracks instead of a tight rope. I'm gonna inhale both arms up into warrior one, palms shining towards each other, Lifting my heart, lifting my thoughts, my gaze, sinking into my hips, but staying buoyant, not collapsing, but keeping it dynamic. Inhale to look up, reach up and back, and exhale, I'm going to come into warrior two, reaching my fingers out in both directions, palms parallel with the earth, shoulders rolling away from the ears. I also walked my, my right foot in a little bit so that my heels are aligned, more or less. I'm gonna inhale, feeling my breath move in the space between my shoulder blades. Then flip my right palm forward, lean forward, and then reach up and over, painting across the sky with my right hand as my left hand comes to rest on my left leg. Inhale, I gaze up and exhale. I'm going to rest right elbow on right knee, left fingertips reaching up and over, now shining parallel to the earth as my left arm reaches over my head. Gaze can be neutral. Maybe experiment with closing my eyes for a moment. And then option to bring right arm up so that I can really feel the heat in my core. Inhaling here and exhale, releasing both hands down to the earth, bringing left knee and left top of foot to the earth, coming up onto right thigh. I interlace my fingers and press my hands into my right thigh, gazing forward. Inhaling, I lengthen here and exhale, sink a little bit deeper into my hips. 
inhale, I lift, and exhale, explore the space. I'm gonna inhale, both arms up, reach up, gaze up, reach up and over, and exhale, plant both palms down, step right foot back, left foot back, coming into a strong, steady plank pose. Even though you can do poses or asanas uh, day after day, and we could even do poses multiple times in the same day, every time you come to a pose, you come to it new with a slightly different body. So it might feel a little different. And then I'm going to slowly lower down, inhaling up to a cobra. Pressing the earth away from me with palms, shoulders roll down the back, feeling a delicious stretch in my hips here. And I'm going to tuck my toes, reach my hips high, heels low. Finding rest in this downward facing dog pose. Feeling the earth with both palms and both soles. Nourishing my body, filling it up with breath. And then letting go of what is no longer serving me. Inhale and exhale. My next inhale, I'm going to inhale my left foot up. Heel reaching out long, left toes reaching towards the earth. And then as I exhale, I'm going to let that hip fall open, bending my left knee, bending left ankle, maybe making little circles with left ankle, wiggling my toes, my left toes, letting my hip fall open. Inhale, I reach my left leg a little higher, and as I exhale, I'm going to sweep it through between my hands. Right foot reaches to the mat at a, a comfortable angle here. I'm going to bend uh, my left knee, making sure I can still see my left big toe, and second biggest toe. And then I'm going to inhale, reaching up, shoulders roll down the back, arms parallel, palms shine towards each other. I'm going to reach up, look up, maybe arch my spine a little bit up and back, and as I exhale, bringing my palms parallel to the earth. Breathing into the space between my shoulder blades, reaching my fingers out in both directions, making any micro adjustments I need to to get the most out of this pose. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, bending left knee up a little more. Making sure I'm not sinking or collapsing, but supporting myself feeling the support that's all around me. I'm going to flip my left palm to face the sky. Inhale, I'm going to reach forward. And as I exhale, sweep back, letting right palm rest on right leg. Left arm now reaching over my head. I can gaze up or have a neutral, neutral gaze, neutral neck, not forcing anything. Breathing here. Feeling the energy course through my body. I'm now going to bring my left uh, elbow over left knee with a 45 degree bend or working towards that with both elbow and knee. And then I'm going to reach my right fingertips to the sky. As I exhale, bring that right hand across my right ear, respecting the space between shoulder and neck. Right fingertips parallel with the earth. As I inhale, I'm going to think about bending or shining my heart upward towards the sky. I can stay here. I could bring uh, left arm up parallel with the right. Inhaling and exhaling, feeling strong in my core. Sending my breath anywhere that I feel that my body needs it. Inhale, one more breath here, and exhale, 
pressing both palms into the earth, stepping left foot up and back, three-legged dog, and then bringing left foot back, right foot back, heels high, and then heels low, and hips high into downward dog. Breathing. Feeling whatever you feel. My next inhale, I'm going to inhale my right leg up. And exhale, sweep it through between my hands. This time I'm going to point both um, left toes and right toes forward as I inhale up. My feet are hips width distance apart. And I'm going to interlace my fingers and press my palms on my thighs, on my right thigh. Feeling something like a pyramid here. Inhale to lengthen from my tailbone through the crown of my head and exhale and gently bow my head over my right leg. And I'm going to plant both palms, step right foot back, left foot back. Inhale here and exhale. Slowly lower down, coming into Sphinx, bringing my uh, forearms in front of me, elbows and thumbs parallel here. Tops of my feet pressing into the earth. Gaze can be forward or you can close your eyes. Letting the earth massage our bellies as we breathe in. And exhale with a sigh. And now I'm going to tuck my toes and press away, coming into downward dog again. Feeling the change between this down dog and the first one of the day. I'm going to inhale, left foot up. Exhale, step it through between my hands and keeping my, my feet hips width distance. I'm going to point all 10 toes forward as I um, bow over my left leg, palms pressing into left thigh. Inhale, I'm going to lengthen through my spine. And exhale, gently bow over left leg. I'm just going to stay here for a moment. Feeling what I feel. Inhale, I lengthen. And exhale, I bow over left leg. I'm going to plant um, my palms again. Step left foot back to meet the right. Come into plank pose. And lower down. Ever so slowly. And then come to form a pillow for myself with my forearms. And turning my head to one side or the other. And in this pose, I can feel my heart beat against the earth. I can hear the pitter-patter of little paws around me. And I'm going to um, press my palms into the earth again and come back into child's pose, taking a wide-legged child's pose with my toes together, knees as wide as my mat. If I bring my belly to rest between them, palms forward, forehead surrendering into the earth. I'm going to breathe here. Relaxing my forehead, my jaw. Relax my tongue. Relax my hands, wrists, forearms, elbows, upper arms, shoulders, chest and back. 
belly and lower back. Hips and thighs and calves and ankles and feet and toes. Letting everything melt. And soak up the benefits of this practice today. I'm going to slowly walk myself up with my hands and come into hero's pose sitting over my heels. I'm going to bring palms to heart center. Feeling the richness of this newly oxygenated blood going to corners that might have they might not have <laughs> flown so freely in before this practice. I just want to take a moment of gratitude for a great many things. And thank you for practicing with me today. Namaste.